So I see that we're live on Facebook right now. I'm live. <laughs> I'm live with you, uh, Ali's Facebook following. And we're going to be doing the weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 12th through the 18th, 2012. So get people a couple minutes to come in here. Um, thank you for joining us. Well, me. <laughs> Allie was unable to make, she had a lot of things on, on her plate right now. And, uh, you know, and we've seen it in the last couple of days that you know, it's, been, it's been rough. So things, she's got a lot of things going on. So I'll, over, I'll take over for this week for you. So. We're going to do a raffle here in a second to keep up in the spirit of Allie. It's fun to raffle things off, so we'll do a raffle. How's that sound? And then we'll jump into the weekly tarot forecast. Okay. I want to make sure that we're live on Facebook right now. Just refreshing Allie's page right there. Yeah, we've got three people here with us right now. And one pe one person put, gave us a heart. Thank you. I say us because I'm doing this on behalf of Allie. So and if you're expecting Allie, you, you, got, you got stuck with me. Okay. <laughs> so here we are all together with our weekly tarot forecast for July 12th through the 18th, 2012. It's going to be fun. It'll be exciting. You guys will have a good time. So, okay, can you guys hear me okay? I just unplugged my microphone. Can you hear? Okay. I see Tracy and Sarah. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? I just Oops. unplugged my microphone. Can you hear? Okay. There. I just got to mute myself now. And once, once I know that you guys can hear me, we're, we're going to rock it. It's going to be an awesome forecast. I just feel it in my bones. So, oh, Lisa says, can't, no, you can't, you can't hear me. So, and Sarah says, great audio. So Lisa can't hear me. And Sarah says, it's, it's great audio. How is that possible? Okay. All right. Um, how, all right. There's uh, Tr Tracy's here with us. You're you're going to be the the judge. Can you hear me? Lisa says no. Sarah says yes. Okay. We hear you. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So. Let us begin. The first thing we're going to do is a raffle on behalf of Allie, and be sure to make your payments to Guiding Angels at BT Internet, or you can make payments at psychicalley.net. So first thing we're going to raffle off is a partially used oral B dental floss. <laughs> so make your bids at psychicalley.net. Dental floss. I've used it personally myself. So, and then if you want dibs on a partially eaten bag of pistachios, put your dibs in for that too. So without any further ado, let's move on to the astrology, weekly astrology forecast for the week of July 12th through the 18th, 2012, or 2020, 2012. Why did I say 2012? Holy mackerel, 2021, I inverted them, the 12 and the 21. So the weekly tarot forecast, we're gonna do air signs first, and we're starting out with Libra. And the cards I'm using are Hoyle gaming cards. Yeah, so the art, the art is done by Hoyle, the lovely art that we have here. So we're gonna be using, I don't have any tarot cards around near me, so. We're going to use we're going to use gaming cards. So our first card is the Ace of Hearts. 
So this is for Libra for the week of July 12th through the 18th, 2021. So Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. what we have is an ace. And if we get two more aces and two more kings, we'll have a full house. So expect lots of company uh, this week um, with your, your full, full house. Okay. So next we're going to move on to uh, Gemini. And on that Excuse note, me. I'm going to bring Allie in. I'm Excuse floundering me. miserably. Excuse me. You've hijacked, you've hijacked it. <laughs> What's going on? There, there she is. I, I, are you muted? No. Why is my microphone not working? I think you're muted, baby. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Bo loved my reading. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Can you guys hear Alan? Wow. Maybe it's me. It, it's showing that her microphone's working on my end. But I just can't hear her. And Sarah's saying she can hear you. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll sign off, baby. And I'll, I'll listen. I can't. Can you, can oh, you I know what it, it is. Here. Here. My, my, my computer was muted. Yeah. How dare you hijack my my uh, raffle? What's going on? <laughs> did, did you want to uh, place a bid on either that of these? Raffle, that raffle is crap. <laughs> I should have called Nobody's it a crap. A, a, a crapple. We're, we're, I'm having a crapple tonight. <laughs> I'm going to be crappling <laughs> off these items of, of crap. <laughs> You're funny. You're yeah, we, we plotted this. <laughs> we, we plotted this before the show that I would come on and goof <laughs> with you guys. So fortunately, you're you're on and giving the. Re I'm curious what the Ace of Hearts does mean, though, in um, tarot. Ace, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. It's it means overflowing of love, emotions. Oh, so pretty much awesome. how people feel about you and all of that love that's come to you for your healing. Aw, and for us, um, people, I think people yeah. love seeing us together because they can feel the love between us. It's real. Oh yeah. yeah, it's been it's been a journey, but I cannot believe how well that you look. Just amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Look at the slimline, Greg. I know, and I still have. So, um, the the surgery was five days ago, so I still have swelling down there. It's gonna be even thinner around my tummy. So, it, they, the surgeons did an amazing job. I'm really happy with the job they got. They did on me, and it's all yours. <laughs> oh, this body belongs to you. Oh yeah, definitely. I thought you were going then. I thought you was you were saying goodbye. Don't go yet. I can. No, no. It's okay. really nice. So you're back home. I saw your face when you actually lay down in your bed. You know, it was like bliss yeah. being at home. Oh yeah, yeah. To be out of a hospital bed, not to have to eat hospital food, yeah. and to be in your own bed with your clothes, regular clothes on, and it's it's great now it's it I, I do have a lot of pain especially when i'm trying to get out of bed there's there's pain but it's not enough to warrant me taking any they gave me hydrocodone a prescription for that i haven't taken any i, I don't plan on taking any unless the pain gets really 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 bad so i'm good I'm good. I'm going to have to learn how to deal with it. And I think every day I deal with the pain, I ex expand my boundaries on how far I can go. Yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, you look so well. You really do. I honestly, this could be any other Tuesday that we're on that this, the way that you're looking, it's like, I think everybody agrees out there. That's because of everybody that sent all the love. Yeah. positive intentions and healing and Reiki and everything. 
they're the ones that healed me. Yeah. The doctors did a great job with what they could do medically, but the healing was from every, our followers. It has to be, it has to be because this is, this is like a miracle. What we're seeing yeah. with you. It's a miracle. Yeah. I'll show you guys. This is what I'm looking at right now. I've got stitches that go out and around. I have no more. I don't have a belly button anymore. And this is where <laughs> they put, put the drainage tubes. Yeah. But I, yeah, so my parents called me an alien. They said, you're like an alien. You don't have a belly button. <laughs> I am kind of like, I'm kind of like Adam. <laughs> Adam and Eve didn't have belly buttons, did they? Well, we actually was talking earlier and it was like, you kept saying that, you know, it's like you kind of get to know each other. It's like the one thing that irritates you. What do you not like? And it's like, I hate people touching my belly button. I hate my belly button. And you know, you have to be careful what you say. Cause Not now, necessarily. Well, yeah. I'm you're okay. happy. You're happy yeah. that one. You know. Yeah. Unless you, know. you love playing with belly buttons. I don't have one for you to play with. No. I could I'm get one that. tattooed on there, I guess. But you no, know, I'm fine without, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no belly button. So what they did was they pulled the skin over um, where the previous incisions were and um, so it looks spot? The other side where they've smoothed it over, is there kind of where they tucked it in? Have you got a scar that side? Yeah, um, there's. Yeah. Well, don't don't if it's going to hurt. That's okay. You. There's there's stitches that go all the way this way and then back again down toward the groin. There's a lot of stitches that are going on right there, and that's part of the pain. The mm -hmm. stomach, obviously, all my stomach muscles were cut in order to fix the hernia. Um, Listen to what but, your you know, nurse has just said in the chat. What's, pardon me? Sarah, she said, be cautious of letting your pain go too far beyond tolerable. You need oh. comfort to heal and rest. Oh. You know, Sarah, I was thinking about that. I put the pills by my bed. I think I'll, I'll try Tylenol first. And if that doesn't work, I'll, I'll, I'll take the hydrocodone. And Devin, oh no, Craig has no belly button. Yeah, I am the new breed. <laughs> I am the new man. Yeah. And so Bo, Bo said I, I came from an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself pecking myself out of an egg. <laughs> well, why not egg? Look at my name, Greg, G-R egg. <laughs> That's funny what, what Devin said. Right, yeah. I, yeah, I came out of an egg. No, Liz, look, how do we know you're not a clone now, Greg? <laughs> it's true. That's funny because I had that dream where I, I said I was, a, somebody asked me in the future, who are you? And I said, I'm a master copy of myself. Yeah. And I sent myself back in time because the timeline was fucked up and we needed to boost the awakening. Wow. So maybe you have Greg, the clone of Greg, and I'm already in 5D trying to bring everybody everybody back. Well, from what I've seen and felt, you're still my Greg. So I am I'm good with that. I'm, I'm your Greg without a belly button. Yeah, I'm I'm more than happy. I'm just so pleased that we got through that. It was very scary. Seven hours again, putting me through that. <laughs> Seven yeah, months. yeah, that that was a long time to be under anesthesia. I'm still going through the um, night sweats, which kind of suck. But here, let me do this real quick. All right, hang on. I'll I'll, I'll do a screen share real quick. <laughs> I, I don't I don't mind showing people. This is what <laughs> Devin's on one today. <laughs> Yeah, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, over 20 stitches in there. And on the left and right is where they had these, I think they call them like J tubes or something like that for drainage. And I had another one that was right here somewhere. This was my stoma. This is where my stoma came out and they reattached that. Um, I'm having regular bowel movements right now, and they're solid. I, things are progressing so quickly in a positive manner. So, um, yeah, that's that's all good. So, 
Yeah. And that's what it looks like with, you know, with the bandage and what, what they've, they've done with my, you know, how, how my tummy looks on, on. Have you got that picture, Greg, of, of how extended your, um, you know, your hernia was? Yeah, I do. And if you want to show that, but. I will. I, I've got nothing to hide, honestly. I think, I think I sent it to you. I'm going to have to scroll back on your page to find it. But I'm not, I'm not ashamed of any of this. This is all part of the. I think it helps other people if they're ever going to go through anything like this. Yeah, it's all part of the story. Fly around, buzzing around me. I'm not just um, going mad. <laughs> just full of shit. <laughs> Come on, everyone was thinking that. No. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. Um, Bo, Bo and Sarah picked me up from uh, the hospital, and Bo had me laughing in the car. And I was telling him, man, it, it hurts to, to cough, sneeze, and laugh. And he had me laughing. And that's a good thing. I don't mind hurting from laughing. No. But the so wound is so clean, though, Greg. It really is. It's it is. Wow. They they did an amazing job. I'm I'm really proud of the surgical team. There was two two surgeons that worked on me. And wow, they were amazing. So um I'll be showering. I've been dying to shower, but I still have my dressing on from today. So I'll shower. I'll take this dressing off tomorrow and then I'll shower. And after I shower, um, I'm gonna let it air dry, obviously. And Sarah will be coming over to put a new dressing on tomorrow. Thank and you. Yeah. yeah, once again, you know, she's been an angel. So, um, yeah, I, I can't find the, the before picture, but. No. Oh. I, I, it's too far back. We've chatted loads since um, you sent that. It would would be going back, back and back and back. Oh. It was it was pretty big. My stomach was way out there from. It the looked hernia. odd. It looked really really odd, didn't it? It was a very large hernia. Mm. Very large. Mm. Um, so, yeah, everything is falling into place. I you know if I'm not moving, I feel great. I, I can feel the stitches, you know, but it's not painful. I, and overall, I feel really good. So I'm, I'm confident that because of all the love that everyone sent, it's going to make a huge difference. It's going to continue to make a huge difference in my healing process. So thank you from my heart to all of yours. Yeah. yeah. And you guys sent my mom healing and that's helping her as well. She's had a a bad time we want this operation for my mum as well don't we yeah that's but it's got to be private because here in england you know there's a no resuscitation order on um you know her age so they wouldn't resuscitate honestly it's 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 ridiculous going on at the moment it's it's horrendous well so there's no way i want her to have an operation in uk we're kind of hoping that you know I, I've, I bought, I have a lot of that baby Dogecoin. Mm -hmm. And if that takes off, you know, we'll be able to fly your mother out here and hook her up with the surgical team that I have. I'd love that. I'd yeah. love for my mom to have that. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, keeping our fingers crossed on that. And, uh, I, and then of course, get you out here and get you taken care of with your medical issues, your hiatal hernias and everything. That'd be nice. So you're, so you're without pain. It'd be nice to sleep flat. <laughs> It'd be nice. Oh, I don't care how you sleep. I'm, I'd be very happy to sleep next to you any time of the day. Well, we may, may be able to get hospital bed, and but it's like a double one. So you'll be able to, you know, Right. We could both be kind of playing with our buttons all the time. Huh. It would be like kids would never get anything. Well, we would, but anyway, we'd be playing with the buttons, wouldn't we? Amongst other things. 
That's what I was there trying to avoid saying. Uh -huh. you... I got, there's some buttons I want to play with, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no, no, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, we went down that road. <laughs> Yeah. Sarah, Sarah says to be gentle with that fresh abdominal repair. Yeah, yes. I will. Uh, and she's added that my aura was vibrant leaving the hospital in my N5D tie dye shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got a lot of compliments in the hospital. I wore a different one, had a different shirt on. I ended up washing that shirt but, that I wore from the hospital. But I wore the one, it was the, the third eye and the crown chakra. The, the indigo blue and the uh, what color is that purple <laughs> thank you but it's the blue and purple one and it was a side spiral and it looked freaking amazing um so i i wore that one today and i got a ton of compliments in the hospital on it so that was good trisha said she had to, had to look away she's squeamish <laughs> i know i saw that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my darling, in the UK, tie dye for children is going nuts. Oh, yeah, going nuts. Wow. So um, we're going to send you some t-shirts. Okay. They're tricky to do because you're working with less material. I know. Um, we'll see how it comes out. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even if even if you try just a little one, but obviously not yet. Crikey, no. No. I should I, sh I should let you go. I out of. I I've hogged you long enough. Everyone's waiting for their um, ast weekly astrology forecast. Darling, I'm sure they're more than happy um, having a chat with us. But I know that the longer it goes, the more mm. of a chance you're going to be in pain at the end. Also. You're worried about me when you've just had major surgery. That's just great. <laughs> yeah. How, that's how can that's typical <laughs> of me and you, isn't it? Yeah, because you would do the same thing. Yeah, it's like we was offered healing. It's like I think Greg needs it more, and you said I think Ali needs it more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the proper raffle now. Okay. <laughs> Not I'm going to sign off. Oh, Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming on, darling. I really love that. I love you. Fun. That was great. My pleasure, baby. That was fun. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. <laughs> oh, well, wasn't that lovely? Um, I wasn't expecting him to feel well enough to do that. But, um, yeah, so that was uh, that was great. So I thought you guys would appreciate that. So, oh, it was for all ages, especially. Yeah, it's for learning difficulties and um, elderly people. I'm not sure if it still is, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to take a chance on the no resuscitation thing. <laughs> he wants to take a. Uh, have a bid on the uh, dental floss. You cannot keep a good man down. He is absolutely rocking it, isn't he? He's just um, this. <laughs> there's, there's nothing stopping him. OK, so today we are doing the astrology readings for I haven't got the dates. He did have the dates set up, didn't he? Um, let me just have a little look. Get my diary. So it's been a bit full on. It's my daughter's 30th birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday, Megan. Um, I really wanted to um, show this book. I wonder if she's going to read this, if she's going to see this. It's 1.20. In, in the morning, she's not going to see it. Can I show you guys something? It's one of her presents. It's hilarious. Okay. It's a bit naughty though. Okay. So um, hang on in there. I'm going to show you. 
um, her presence. I'm going to unwrap it. I've got to actually unwrap it to show you. So bear with me. I'm going to have to turn my camera off because I've got... Okay, so bear with me. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Let's read some of these comments. Hello, Sammy. What's that? Oh, have we got a troll? Have we got a troll going on there? All right, let's have a little look. So, this is, <laughs> I've wrapped this up for my daughter. Okay, just keeping an eye on that, uh, that Sammy. Uh, let me, um, let me, um, I'm going to send some karmic stuff to Sammy, karmically, things, things come to people who are negative and nasty, don't they, so, sending her with love in a karmic influence way. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, love her. Love and light. Love and light to her. Okay, so if there's a if there's anybody who's easily offended right now, this book isn't for you. Okay, it really isn't. But I got this for my daughter. Now my daughter sometimes has kind of angry days, as we all do. And I I got her this because I thought this would be um very funny okay and it would help her okay so it is a fuckity fuck 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 coloring book yeah so look so there's coloring pages called bitch tits um dictard um oh I can't say that one I'm gonna only pick some of the ones that aren't too bad okay some of them are very 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 bad um dickweed you've got <coughs> your twat waffle <laughs> <laughs> um, cockwomble, twat face. <laughs> this would be apt for Sammy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Clusterfuck. It's just, you know, this this is just going to be one of those presents that she's just going to laugh her head off at. And um, I I think everybody should get one. I really do. I think that this is going to be the new thing out. So, yeah. Get yourself one of these kind of adult colouring books. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to put it back in the wrapping paper after that. So, I don't know. It was a, you need one, Tricia. You need one. Yeah. Some people lash out at anyone because of past trauma really is a more cry for help manifest as a parasite I think so I honestly think that people are sometimes kind of um it's their job to do it Devon I really do so are we up to date with who's here so we've got Vera we've got Sharon Lisa um who else we've we got Anne hello Anne Tracy, who else have we got? Just going through 
Jody. Hello, Jody. Patricia. Patrice. Devon. Who else have we got? We've got Mr. Prescott. Lorena. Why do all the. <laughs> oh, we've got another one. Oh, we've got another one. Excellent. Do you know what? It got to. Um, it got to um, that, that they were doing spam. It's like, um, you know, when people you're doing readings and then people would come on board and say, have a reading with me, have a reading with me. That's how it used to be. And now they've, they've resorted to that. Hello, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Badger's there. Who else have we got? And Brandy and Jodie. So, yeah. You like that book, do you, Lisa? You'll have to get one. Honestly, Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Very funny. Okay, so we're going to be doing the readings. I'm going to do the raffle first. But we're going to do the readings from, what day would it be? The 12th of July through to the 18th. Okay, so the 12th through to the 18th of July, 2021. Let me write that in my little, little book. I wanted to thank everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. It really does mean so much to me. Um, it means that I can do so much more. Um, you know, live readings and things like that. And, um, you know, do other videos. Sunday, is it the 18th, did I just say? of July. There we go. 18th of July. There. Okay, so we're going to be doing that. Okay. Um, oh, can I show you my pyramid that I made? Look, I made this. So it's a lamp. I haven't done the base of it yet. And I've got a kind of um, file off that bit first so yeah yeah so that's my latest um and I've really loved making it so yeah it's, it's great it's quite heavy it's quite heavy but it's um it was uh, it takes ages to do it really does. So just uh, quickly for um, the raffle. So here are some of the raffle prizes that I'm doing. This is like one of the biggest raffles that I've probably ever done. OK, so you have um, two main prizes and two mystery prizes. OK, so two main prizes, two mysteries. So it's the first two people that I draw from the raffle get to choose one of these um one of these things okay so you've got the choice of a black obsidian crystal ball crystal balls are very good for um scrying they're very good for um transfiguration okay and doing things like that um they're also very grounding okay so um black obsidian crystal ball or you can choose from a set of these coasters. You can use them either side. I always um, attack, I, I, I send with it the feet, you know, the sticky pads, okay, that go on the bottom of um, the coasters because, um, you know, some people might prefer that side to that side. Um, and then there's just an, an extra one there. So um, there's, so it's a, Black Obsidian Crystal Ball, all the coasters. Um, hold on a minute. I'm just going to put that camera up like that so I can just get this. That's better. <laughs> okay. Or you have this 
um, rose quartz bracelet. Rose quartz bracelet. I've got all the writing on my hand because it was something that I wanted. I didn't, I didn't have a piece of paper and I wanted to write it down. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So rose quartz bracelet or the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, the Light Seers Tarot, here's some of them. So that's the world's card. And you've got the strength. Even the death card's quite nice. I actually scrubbed out the word death um, in my deck. Eight of Cups. The King, the Knight, sorry, of Cups. Okay, so you've got all of that. Okay, I'm actually going to throw in this one as well, a choice of this one, the Good Tarot. Okay, so um, I have kind of done these before, these raffles. So you've got a choice of that one. So that, that what I just said, that was the Light Seers. The Good Tarot, let me show you the Good Tarot. These ones are quite a tight fit in this, um, in this box. So I like to be able to, so obviously the box that comes, it will be open. This one, I don't need to open because I've already got some cards that I can show you, but I think that you should be able to see the cards that you're getting. I will show that, Greg, I'll get, I'll get that. So here is, um, I don't wanna confuse it in with the raffle though, because <laughs> that's not raffled. Um, so here's some of the cards. Okay, this is the, the good tarot. So they're very gentle cards, these ones. Very gentle kind of energy. Okay, so there's those choices. Um, what was the other choice? I think, oh, on runes, okay. So a set of runes as well. So, these ones are the black, just the black ones. So they're just some runes. You wanted runes, okay? And the last prize to choose from is one of these, okay? It's the plaque that you can use as a pendulum, okay, um, board. You can use it a pendulum board, or you can just have it on your wall or you can put, um, have it on your altar, if you've got an altar. Okay, so yeah, you can have a choice of those. So like I said, there's two prizes and it's up to you. Just, I mean, whoever gets first prize, they can choose between those gifts. Um, and then the second person can then choose what's left of the, of the main gifts. Um, and then there'll be two mystery prizes, okay? So does anybody want to have a go at the raffle? It's a pound um, a ticket if you're in the UK. If you're outside the UK, then it will be um, $2, okay, if it's outside the UK. So here is, so far, what we've got, okay? So... If you wanted to, Greg, darling, you, if you're still here, would you would you be able to um, put guiding angels at btinternet.com um, on there? Um, for, so that's my PayPal. If you wanted to use that, or you can go via the website um, psychicalley.net. Um, you can do that. Why do you pay me? Okay, so what have I got? So Sarah, Hallie, I love the rose quartz pendulum you sent to me as a gift, so lovely, and the resin initial with the spell herbs. Thank you. Oh, I'm so pleased you like them. Oh, Sarah, you finally got your Christmas present. <laughs> You finally got that. Oh, that's nice. Good. I'm glad you, thank you, darling. Um, I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Okay. So, 
so that's that's the raffle after this i'm gonna i'm gonna um do i'm gonna show you the wand okay now this isn't this isn't a raffle prize okay and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do as in how much i'm gonna sell it for Oh, no. There it is. I think it's broken. Okay, so this is what I've been creating. This is what I've been creating. Okay, so this is my um, newest creation. It's a wand. There's a quartz crystal on the end there. And it is, I can't properly see, but they're kind of roses there. So that is a, the rose quartz wand. Okay, I have no idea how much to sell that for. Haven't got a, haven't got a clue. Um, I suppose it took about half a day to make, I would say. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? So I've been really, you like it. So I've, um, you would have this obviously on your altar and you can do kind of healing work with it and you can um, set some intentions out there um, by using this as well. So there's lots of things you can do with uh, with wands. So yeah, I've been um, enjoying making these. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> I like being creative. It lets my it lets my inner child come out and play. It does. Okay, so. I'm going to start with the, um, so let me know what star signs you are out there, because then that will determine which I'm going to start with, which, um, which birth signs it's going to be. So I know Trisha, I think, is Gemini, if I remember right. Um, can't remember Brandy's. Obviously, we've got Greg, who is... I've got Libra rising. Um, so make sure that you look up your sun, moon and rising. Um, make sure you look up that. OK, so Patrice is cancer. Greg, I want to play with your inner and our child. <laughs> yes, I can. Yep, that's uh, set my mind wandering anyway. So Jodie is Libra. Um, so Sarah is Aqua, Aquarius sun. Sagittarius moon and Leo rising. Uh, Trisha is Aquarius moon, Virgo rising. Okay, so we've got an all round mixture, haven't we? Brandy's Virgo, Cancerian, so water signs. So, so we've got quite a few. So fire signs, earth sign, air signs. Okay, so. Leo, Trace is Leo, and Vera is at Aries. Okay. So, um, Devin is Cancer Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. Lots of air signs. So, I think we'll start with air signs then. Okay. So, that's what we'll start with this week. Right. Let me put that there. I'm going to just take some pain relief. It's all right, make a drink. Yeah, lots of air signs. Okay. Yeah, I'd like a, a whole day of doing creative stuff. That would be great, great fun. I'm going to treat myself to a day off doing stuff like that. So, 
would be good. Okay. So how has everybody been? What have you all been up to today? Is it half past two a.m.? No, half past one. Yeah, what have you all been doing? Make a drink. I've been trying to sort out my my daughter's birthday tomorrow. We went to a restaurant yesterday. Not yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Um went for a carvery, that was nice. That was lovely. And then we was gonna go and watch Fast and Furious eight or nine, I can't remember. Um, but it was sold out, so that was a bit of a bummer. Has anybody watched that Tomorrow's Tomorrow World or something? I think it's called Tomorrow. Tomorrow's War, I think it is Tomorrow's War. So, I oh, think, thank you. Like I need it more than you. You need it, darling. <laughs> You've been relaxing, Jodie. <laughs> Vera's busy blocking inactive profiles. Um, we've got um, we've got a, um, a Facebook page, or is it a group? I can't remember. Is it a page? Anyway, we've got a Facebook page, and it's called Giving Professional Readings and Advertising for Professional People. So. It's basically, um, you know, you can do, you can have um, these sites where you can do, you can go on there and do free readings, but woe betide if you advertise yourself as well. You know, it's like, that's forbidden. And it's like, why, you know, it's like, so um, I started a page up. So yeah, if you do, it's a group, Vera said, it's a group that's giving readings. I don't know if there's a link there you can put on there, Vera. So if anybody wants to like a free reading uh, from one of the team there, or you would like, um, or maybe you would like to advertise if you're a professional reader and you want to advertise yourself on there or do some free readings for other people, um, you're welcome to go on to it, okay? Um, it's uh, it's giving read, I can't remember the, the whole, there it is, Vera's done it, bless her. Um, so I've made Vera admin because there's a lot of blank, um, um blank profiles and um yeah so we there's a lot of spammers out there at the moment it's really sad but there's a lot of spammers people that it's like on here trolls they deliberately come on and it's like they get a kick off it just what I mean of um of coming on board and seeing if they can upset you it doesn't upset me I just feel dreadfully sorry for them um because of the the energy that must be around them must be absolutely putrid. It, it must be awful. I'd hate to be them. I'd hate to be their energy. I really would. So, yeah. I'm about to go cook jasmine rice. Oh, nice, Devon. Jasmine rice. Mm, I do like rice a lot. Well, um, if you talk me through how to do it, <laughs> um, yeah, if you can talk me how to do it, Vera, then um, I'll, I'll do it. But I, I've tried to tinker about with all the profile bits and uh, I tried the other day. Okay. Right, so let's start. So air signs. Should we start with Libra? Because we always end with Libra. So we'll do Libra. As Greg is doing so well and out of hospital, I think. 
it's only fair. <laughs> okay, is that, that's not tall enough. Okay, um, let's do that and that, and put that there, like that. Okay, so it's just me this week. Last week, you had three other readers, plus me. So it was a big one. So please, if you haven't listened to last week's um, astrology, um, it is amazing. It's probably one of the best ones that you're going to see because you've literally got numerology and you've got three other readers as well um, giving a forecast for last week. So you can let us know kind of on the accuracy of that. Yeah, I'm so sorry for your loss, Linda. Can we all send some wonderful healing energy as well and loving energy over to Linda? Her sister passed away um, just a few days ago. And, um, you know, um, I don't know how she's coping, bless her. Um, such a brave lady and such a big heart. So, uh, Linda, you know, we're sending lots of love over to you. Okay, right. So I'm just going to tune in and give Libra um, a little message there. Okay, so the date for this reading is the 12th through to the 18th of July. So 12th through to the 18th of July. And this is for Librans. Okay. Okay, so the beginning of the week, beginning of next week, is going to start off with a boost financially. It's where some um, money starts to come through, and I feel as if it's like, um, you know, when the floodgates are open, and there is a, I've done a little, um, like a manifestation um, video on that, um, so I would highly recommend you go and do that. But basically it's where sometimes there is a blockage. Um, if you imagine the river of um, the flow of energy coming into your life and imagine that sometimes there's a blockage um, that, that stops all of this kind of good fortune and love and kind of money and opportunities and things like that. It kind of gets blocked up. So you have to kind of go back up the river and this is the visualization and you've got to pull out all the sticks and the twigs and pull out everything and then you will see that this starts to flow really quickly then into your life so it means that your luck starts to change very quickly um, and all that has been stored up um, you know in the past or things that should have been yours or come your way and all that luck would have done is now coming so it's um it's all linked with that so you know there's abundance on its way okay but librans especially you're going to see it okay you're going to start to see this abundance around you you've got the ace of pentacles which is to do with new money new opportunities or um you know like a new avenue for um gaining money um there's links around self-employment or a chance to be independent, working independently, um, having an independent kind of energy around money. We've got the Ten of Cups also, which is all to do with kind of the love, feeling love, feeling um, happy. Um, there's a feeling of contentment with yourself, um, not really needing anybody else um, at the moment. It's nice to have people around you, but you're going to feel quite centred. Um, very much self-assured, okay, it's going to be that type of um, emotions and feelings. Um, and that's what's going to be starting off the week for Librans. Okay, so this is the middle 
of next week. So the middle of next week, there's somebody who you haven't been talking to, or there seems to have been a miscommunication, okay, around you. I've got the two of swords. And to me, this is where, you know, you would have usually talked to this person, but you're not at this time. Um, there's something that has been gone amiss or gone astray to do with communication lines. Um, there could have been some harsh words or um, some strong words um, around uh, you and this person. Um, but it, there's a challenge around this. And this challenge will be um, that everything is resolved and sorted out. OK, it can be that, um, you know, you're able to get off your chest what it is that you want to say okay so it's where you know communication lines are going to be better but they haven't been okay um up until that point okay um okay so then um at the end of next week the end of next week so that's pushing on further into um would it be the eight is it the 18th of july did i say the 18th 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah, it is 18th. Okay, so towards the, the 18th of July, um, everything is going to be a bit on hold. So it seems to be everything is upside down. Um, you're waiting for the, the next opportunity. You're waiting for, to hear about this. You're waiting uh, for that to happen. Um, there seems to be a little bit of kind of, you know, it's, it's like you're, because you're waiting, you don't want to push for somebody to reply to you or talk to you. Um, you're trying not to make um, a, a situation worse. So, with the middle of this um, of, of the of the week next week, the communication lines are bad. This could be the same situation where you get it resolved, but then there's something else that comes up. Sometimes it's like you, you know, you feel as if you can't please anybody. You can't please that particular person. No matter what you do, you can't please them. It can be that situation or it can be, you know, a different person and lack of communication. Um, but there's tippy toeing around a situation, trying not to upset anybody. Um, but you are trying to look at things from another person's point of view. I do feel as if I'm talking about money matters, finances, um, career um life pass that 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 type of energy so that's the theme of the awkwardness um the theme of the treading carefully around the situation um but you will be able to see it from the other person's point of view um as well okay so there you go that's what i see for librans for next week okay so then we're going to go on to gemini's OK. So I'm going to get a different deck of cards now for I'm going to use the Lightseer's Tarot. OK, these are the ones that are going to be raffled off. So if anybody does want a raffle ticket, um, they are a pound or two dollars. OK, for a go. And these are the Lightseer's Tarot. They are pretty bright and beautiful. Um, I love these. They're quite, um, you can see really, you know, this, this to me looks as if somebody's kind of dreaming, dreamily looking out at new adventures and things like that. That's kind of what I'm seeing with that one. Hmm. Okay, so Geminis. So I know we've got Trisha, who is a Gemini. Who else has got Gemini in their astrology? Um, charts. That card just flew out. Um, so this is the Ace of Cups, which is what Greg put, pulled out actually just now. Um, he pulled out the, the equivalent in a playing card, which was the Ace of uh, the Ace of uh, of Hearts, and the Ace of Hearts is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so it's all to do with um, overflow and of emotions, um, needing more emotions. So. This is the same thing. So it's, it's like, um, you know, when you have to nurture your emotions, you have to kind of look after them. You know, it could be that you want more um, acknowledgement for your own, uh, you know, your love and, and what you give out. It's like, 
it's like wanting some appreciation back. Okay, so that's what that card was about. Okay, so Gemini's. So I have to keep saying the date. This is for my guides. Okay, so 12th through to the 18th of July, 2021. There we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the Empress card. And the Empress card is lovely. Okay, so sometimes this can be literally, uh, sometimes this can be pregnancy, it can be fertility, it can be that things around you are coming to fruition. So opportunities that were, were stagnant before are now ready to be ripe. You know, they're ripe and ready um, to, to go ahead with. Okay, you've also got the magician card. And to me, with the magician, um, this is like saying that spirit have been working on this. Spirit have been um, magically pulling everything together and making things happen. OK, and, um, you know, there's a lot of work behind the scenes to make um, everything go right. If there is anybody out there who is expecting um, a baby or wanting a baby, this can mean that it can mean pregnancy, um, you know, especially with the cards together. And I'll show you what I mean by this. OK, because you've got the world as well which is a good outcome to whatever you're worried about, okay? Um, with the Empress, obviously motherhood, nurturing, fertility, things coming to fruition. Um, you know, the magician, which means spirit have been working behind the scenes. So if you are waiting on a business deal, if you have gone for an interview for a job and you're waiting to see if you get it, if you are you know, wanting to find out if your financial situation is going to get better. All of this sort of thing is all saying yes. You know, these cards are just really showing, um, you know, a very good um, outcome to what your questions are. OK, so um, that is the beginning of the next week. So by this for Gemini's, this is OK, so by the middle of next week, we've got the balance card, you've got the temperance. The temperance is all about the balance, trying to make sure everybody's okay, trying to, you know, be there for this person and this person and be there for yourself. Make sure, you know, that everybody knows that they're loved and cared for. Um, and uh, so that's going to be part and parcel of your kind of job description, even more than usual. OK, around the middle of um, next week for Gemini's, um, you are going to be just about getting getting by, OK, to do with money um, and to do with work matters. It's not going to be as easy as it normally would be. OK, it feels as if you've got to just be very mindful, if you like, of, you know, what you're spending your money on and why. OK, it's just for a little while and it seems to be, you know, the, um, you know, just a temporary feeling. Now, if you don't have any money worries, then it could be um, be careful of being overcharged for things. Be careful that you could be saving money um, somewhere and that could be a frustrating kind of uh, finding out or a frustrating kind of um, acknowledgement later. So um, I'm also seeing a lot of dancing and fun, OK, around and, and a celebration. So it could be that there's a lot of people who are celebrating, a lot of people who are finding um, a lot of happy vibes and everything going on, OK, around um, around you guys. Um, that, that's it's like being invited to some sort of fun and happiness. OK, it's uh, it's to do with that. OK. So um, I've just lost my phone because it's just died. So let me just get my charger. Plugged in. Okay, let me get my charger phone. Can't find my stand either. 
Okay, so I can't see any comments at the moment. I'll have to use my iPad. Well, it's not an iPad, it's a tablet thing. I'd like to see what people are saying, what the chat about. Let me turn the sound down. Otherwise. Got it sorted. Okay. So let's put that over there. Heads of comments. Um, there we go. Oh, hi, Deb. See Deb there. Okay, so we're halfway through this. Sorry about that. Okay, so that is um, the, the Gemini's middle um, of next week. So I saw a party celebration. It could be drinks raised. Congratulations. Well done. Fantastic news. That type of thing um, is um, going on around the middle of um, next week. Okay, so um, the end of, end of next week, um, so that's nearing on going on to the 18th of July, um, you've got a very large kind of change that's happening. It's like the end of one way of life, the beginning of another. It's like that was how things were going, but now they're going to do this. So there's a lot of kind of different things, okay, different happenings going on, okay. It's like um, I can't believe, um, you know, how much my life has changed, you know, um, this is how I thought my life was going and then this happened. Um, there seems to be some sort of legalities, official paperwork, um, signatures, documents, okay, all around you um, at the end of July, end of um, the, up until the 18th of July. Yeah, so something to do with that. There seems to be a very logical person around you, somebody who's dissecting everything and, and trying to make sense of things so it's like they're trying to help you out with advice trying to give you you know what you should be doing and how you should be doing it okay so it's all to do with fairness it can be to do with official things okay but there is kind of like endings beginnings changes kind of and having to work through um, a lot of the changes so there you go for gemini's that's your uh, weekly forecast for the 12th through to the uh, 18th of July, 2021. Okay, so now we're gonna do Aquarius. Okay, so here go Aquarius people. Okay, so did we have some Aquarius people? Okay, so let's try another different deck. I'm gonna try the mythic tarot um these are the mythic decks so they're all about greek mythology okay this is one of the first decks i ever had in fact it was the first not this particular deck um but it was the the original version of um the mythic deck okay so um this is uh, is the newer version the new illustrations of that but uh, yeah mythic Okay, so Aquarius, 12th through to the 18th of July. Right. Okay, so this is where, um, if it's been quite stormy, around you and I don't mean that literally although it could mean literally I suppose um, things are very much more balanced at this point um, there's a lot of kind of you know you know when you're weighing things things up um, you know the good the bad um, and the not so good <laughs> you're weighing all of that up and you're coming to the conclusion um, that everything has been done for a reason 
Okay, and when that realization, sometimes we need reminding of it because as spiritual people, we try and um, we get that anyway. Do you see what I mean? We we understand that the universal law, everybody kind of you know knows that the universal law has got a mind of its own, and sometimes um, you know it doesn't make any sense at the time. We get annoyed with it and saying, "Why is it not happening now? It should have happened now," and that sort of thing. Um, but they've got their own timing, haven't they? Um, but what is going to be the realization um, of, of the beginning of, of next week for Aquarius is going to be that penny drop moment of, wow, the universe does know what it's doing. I now know why I didn't get my wish or that things haven't worked out the way that I'd hoped. OK, so it's a very much, um, you know, after there being a storm energy around you. Um, I feel that you're going to be needing to put on a hard front, okay, around um, some people who are watching out to see if you've got a vulnerable side. Now, that is not always an, an easy thing to do, because sometimes you don't necessarily feel um, as if you, you want to be tough. Sometimes you want to show, you know, your whole personality. You, you shouldn't have to put on this act. Um, but something is going on at this particular point um, and it's around official people, an official kind of feeling. And this feeling is going to be, you know, um, I'm I, I, d I don't need I don't need your advice or you, everything is fine. So it's like putting on a front. That's just what I'm seeing by the middle of um, next week. You know, you've got the strength card, which to me definitely says, you know, that you are stronger than you realize and you're going to be very shocked at how strong you are. Um, there seems to be a lot of hard work around you at this time. It's a bit like a never ending cycle of work, rest, work, rest, work, rest. Where's the play? Um, and it's like you're you're missing out on the play. OK, side of things. Uh, which is going to be a little bit awkward, a little bit kind of frustrating. Be careful that you're not wishing for something. Um, and then when you get it, it wasn't what you thought. OK, so sometimes we say, I want this, I want this, I want this. And then you get it. So it, it's like be be aware of, you know, not wanting something out of habit and being absolutely realistic. So um, I do readings for friends sometimes, and sometimes the readings, they go kind of like this, um, that there is, it's like they want a relationship and they want, to, want it to be full on and they want to be living together. They want this and they want that. And I said, okay, let's visualize that, okay? So from this actual point in your life, they're moving their stuff in. I want you to visualize this. They're moving all their bits in and you know, they're, they're kind of taking over the TV remote. They're doing this and doing that. You know, your family don't just pop around anymore. And this happens and this happens and this happens. So all of this time, I was kind of going through that. And you could tell by the look on their faces that they were rethinking it, that they actually had got too, too used to living on their own. And they wasn't really sure that that's what they wanted or it needed to slow down so that they could get used to it gradually. OK, so um, so sometimes it's like be careful what you wish for. OK, because you, you, you could get it. You know, sometimes we say things and we have to be careful what we what we what we say. Um, my mum used to say, I worry my guts out over you kids. That's a clear delete that. Um, so, and uh, she ended up with, uh, you know, problems with the bowel. You know, you don't know. You don't know how literal sometimes these things are. Okay, you just have to have to be careful. Okay, so by the end of next week for Aquarius, lovely people, there's naughty behaviour around you. So you're going to be very playful, very naughty. Um, you're going to be enjoying, you know, letting out your inner child. Uh, you're going to be trying 
you know, to it's like finding things funny that everyone else is very serious about um, and thinking, I don't know if I can get away with laughing at this, Dom, you know, when you're trying to stifle back um, the giggles. Um, I see that there's a lot of different ideas going on about where you want to go, and what you want to do. And it may not be what everyone else wants to do. And that could be, you know, that you're being playful while they're being serious about, you know, plans and things like that. Um, you you are, it's, it's like a temptation energy around you. There's going to be a little bit of temptation, a little bit of, um, should I do this or should I be sensible? Um, should I kind of, you know, let out this kind of intrigue in me or should I just stay being, you know, the person that everyone likes me to be or needs me to be? So sometimes we have to, you know, if we, especially if we're trying to be, um, you know, a people pleaser and tr just just trying to stifle part of your personality rather than be truthful and honest. OK, um, this usually comes up and bites us straight on the arse. Sorry, I swear, but that's usually the case. OK, so um, that's what's going on with Aquarius, because usually Aquarius, you guys know that you can be quirky, that you can be funny that you think outside the box. And a lot of the time, other people sometimes don't get you. Um, so that can be a little bit tricky. And I think the trickiness is gonna be very much um, um, in your face at that time. Okay, next week. Um, so who have we got? We've got Desiree, I just saw Desiree there. Hi Desiree. Who else have we got? we're up to there okay hello diane right okay so who are we doing now so we've done all of the air signs now so what else did i see a lot of fire signs i think i saw so we'll start off we'll go backwards this time so we'll start off with aries Okay, so this is for Aries people. Who's an Aries out there? Apart from, we know uh, Vera is. Who else is an Aries? Let's see if I can turn on my phone. Um. I've just seen that on PayPal, I've had some raffle um, money come through. Um, have you let me know what um, what numbers you want on the raffle or do you want me to pick your numbers for you? Um, just let me know. Let's turn the volume down, make sure it's down. is easier so I end up can see there who else have we got so Jeremiah is Aries moon oh there we go We love you too, Desiree. <laughs> so Deb is an Aries as well. Jeremiah, Lisa's son, has an Aries moon. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer Rogers is a newbie. Welcome, Jennifer. It's so wonderful for your smile back. Oh, my twin is Aries. It's good to see you too, Crystal. Have you been? Raffle link to send. Basically, if you want to be part of the raffle, just let me know um, what numbers you want for the raffle. Um, the raffle is, um, there's two main prizes. So the first two people get a choice of a black obsidian crystal ball, the rose quartz bracelet, um, some runes, 
the light seers tarot or um, some coasters, a set of coasters, or um, the good tarot, the good tarot cards, um, uh, or this plaque here. Okay, so it's a pendulum board or a plaque. So there are two main, two winners, two two winners of the of the main raffle, and then there are. Um, two mystery prizes. So there's four prizes uh, for this particular raffle. So if anybody wants to be part of the raffle, just let me know. I can pick the numbers out for you or you can um, pick your own numbers. Okay, I've seen that a couple of people have paid on PayPal. So um, my PayPal email address, if you wanted to join it, is um, there, it's a pound a go for the raffle or it's two dollars and it is um, guiding angels at btinternet.com so that's guiding g u i d i n g guiding angels at btinternet.com that's paypal or you can go to the website and it is um psychicalley.net okay so you can pay either way so Oh, there you go, Vera. Thank you, Vera. She's put um, my PayPal email address. So just so I don't want to miss anybody if they've said that they want to do the raffle. Um, there we are. Okay, so who wanted to join in with the raffle? Jodie, do you want me to pick a number for you, Jodie? Is that what you're asking? There we go. So here's what has been picked so far. Okay, these are what has been picked so far. So um, you can pick one of those if you want to, a number of those. So it's it's one one number for you, Jody. I can do that. Okay, so Jody, what about number eight, the infinity number? What do you think? Number eight, Jody? Um, lovely. Okay, so I've got you down for number eight for you, Jody. Okay. I wish I could find my stand for my, <laughs> so I could see the comments. Oh, Greg's put it up as well. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> Thank you. There. Oh dear. I'll have to put it like that. It's very tricky. You know, why do they put phone chargers with the with the um, thing at the bottom underneath? Why don't they put it at the side? Um, because it's like you can't um, you can't put your phone down, can you? Okay, so you're down. If anybody else wants to wants me to add you to the raffle, just let me know. Okay, so um, we're going to do Aries. Let's have a look and see what's going on with you. Okay, Aries between the 12th of July through to the 18th of July. Right. 
your week is going to start off like this, Aries. Okay, lots of sarcasm. Okay, there's lots of sarcasm, lots of funny comments. You know, when your sense of humor is really out there, it's really out there, and it's like you're even making yourself laugh. Um, you know, and and it's like those those quick comments um, that everybody else is kind of making as well. And it's back and forth and back and forth banter. There seems to be somebody around you at this particular point in your life who is also um, this sort of characteristic. Um, so it's like with the two of you, it's like a bit of a comedy act um, going on. I can see there's some sort of training, learning or development around you as well. Um, stepping forward and trying something different. Um, so this feels as if it's, it's like... Um, you know, and it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have a go. Um, and uh, you're realizing that you actually enjoy this new um, talent that you've just, um, you know, tried out. OK, um, you're very independent. So you would have been trying um, to do things more on your own without asking other people. For some of you out there, they're telling me that you should be writing a journal or a book. This journal or book is going to be very intriguing later on and it's going to actually make money. So now for some people, you won't pick up on this, but there will be some of you that this will be absolutely relevant um, for. Um, and um, if it isn't, if this isn't you who is writing the journal, then it will be a link around you. Somebody connected to you uh, will be talking about the fact that they're going to write a diary or a journal okay so you've got the world card for the middle of the week Aries and the ten of pentacles you don't get these combinations of cards unless there's a windfall unless there's been a really good um you know change of circumstances to do with money to do with your security to do with your home life um, so it's like, you know, when you're beaming from ear to ear and you're smiling away and you can't believe that your luck is is literally turning around uh, for the better. So it could be that you find out about something. It could be that you try doing that certain job or that um, self-employment thing. There's something that you're doing that is change of life kind of circumstances. And I do believe it's linked around the stepping forward. OK, and it's linked around training, learning and development. OK, so it's quite a strong feeling. There seems to be a younger person around you guys um, at or an immature person. It's younger or an immature person um, at the middle of next week who is going to need a little bit more TLC, a little bit more help and care than usual than usual. OK, so it could be that you're giving them a shoulder to cry on. You are being there for them. You are nurturing them. You are trying to um, do everything in your power to maybe make them giggle or laugh. OK, so it's definitely that, you know, they need your energy at this particular time. So Aries, around the end of um, next week, so the end of next week, so this is pushing on through um, to the 18th of July or around that 2021. Um, there is a hard worker I'm seeing around you. Um, this person is a bit of a plodder. They don't really make many decisions um, often or they tend to kind of keep going um, at a steady pace, just sort of mean in their life. Um, so it's like um, they've got a routine going on. So on a Monday, they do this. On a Tuesday, they do that. On a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they do this. And Saturdays, they always do that. So it's kind of very routine kind of energy. Well, there seems to be a little bit of um, an issue regarding them needing to take care of themselves um, that little bit more. So it's like them wrapping themselves in cotton wool, making sure that they're OK. Um, making sure that there is, um, you know, everything that they need is there. So watch out for people. I believe that we need to keep a very close eye on um, anybody who is suddenly not feeling very well 
And the question that we need to ask is, have they recently had a jab? And I'm sorry to be political and everything, but this has happened recently um, to my sister-in-law. Okay, my sister-in-law, um, she's a nurse. And uh, this wasn't when she was on shift, when she was off shift, um, there was um, a lady, um, a younger lady, um, and she was going into convulsions on the floor and couldn't breathe properly. And she was literally keeping her alive until the ambulance people got there. And when she looked on her arm and, um, you know, she said, I've just had the injection, I've just had the jab um, and the cotton wool was still on her arm. Um, so, you know, people are literally dying um, from having this I and mean, it is not being reported on um, as it should be. A baby um, who breastfed um, by somebody who'd had the, the jab, the baby died. There's lots of things that are going on. Okay, so just, just be aware, um, send love out to um, the people who this is affecting. Um, and please be sensible if you're thinking about having this, please be sensible and do some research, proper research. Um, obviously, you can't do it on Google. You can't do it on YouTube. It's got to be kind of more out there. So I'm just um, putting, the, putting that out there as it's come up in the reading. And I'll tell you why I'm showing this. So we've got somebody who's a hard worker. We've then got this feeling of being, um, you know, trapped and it's linking to health. Okay, so somebody who would normally be a hard worker and feeling trapped there. Okay, so you can see what's going on, um, why I'm picking that up. So it could be that there's somebody close to you who is um, either thinking about it or they or they're, that they're not, not feeling well. It may not have anything to do with the jab. It may just be a coincidence. Uh, very rarely pick up on health matters, especially future ones. Um, so this could just be somebody who's feeling a bit under the weather and needing a bit of TLC, okay, themselves. So, um, you know, let's uh, let's kind of focus on that, I would say. Um, so that's around the end of um, the next following week for Aries. Okay, so it could be that you're around somebody who is, you know, um, having difficulties like that. So let's have a look. Because um, I could hear the phone buzzing, buzzing, buzzing away. Um, let's have a look. So Jody, I've got yours there. Um, so my lovely man, I may doze off soon. I haven't had a good night's sleep since the fourth. Yeah, darling, you go to sleep. I understand. So Lisa, you want me to add you to the raffle? How many tickets would you like? One, if you want one ticket, I can pick you a ticket, no problem. Oh, stop that. Get some well-deserved rest, said Vera, sending healing energy. Um, so Patricia, you want two numbers for the raffle. Patricia. What numbers are you drawn to? Oh, well, you've asked me to pick them, haven't you? So I'm going to pick, I'm being drawn for number 19 for you, Patrice. What's your surname? Patrice Lowe's. Okay, so you said two, didn't you? Two numbers. Uh, 42, Patrice. There you go. 42. You are down for those two there. Okay. So you're down at 19 and 42, Patrice. So Sarah says, 432 or 528 frequency gently in the background rest well and heal yeah there's a lot about sound healing going on um so i think sarah you said about having um sound healing when i'm over in usa i'd love to 
to book him for a therapy. Um, I think me and Greg wanted to do it. So Crystal Dawn said, oh my God, I have been telling him telepathically that if we write our story, it would be a source of income for us. Well, there you go, um, Crystal. That's what I was picking up very, very strongly. So I'm saying rest well, paid under my maiden name, uh, D.P. Redford. Okay, thank you, Patrice. Thank you very much. Um, pick my number for me too. Okay, number, uh, no, I was going to say number five, but I'm not drawn to five. Number three, um, number three, Lisa, to me, that's kind of like celebration, solidarity, um, goddess kind of mother maiden crone energy. Um, so I've picked that one for you, Lisa. Love you, darling, the night. Um, speak to you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to move forward, but obviously let me know if you want to be part of the, the raffle. It's a pound a go, or it's $2 if you're outside of the UK. Okay, so we're going to do um, Sagittarius now. So Sagittarius. So I've got Sagittarius moon, I think. Yeah, Sagittarius moon. So that's mine. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on with Sagittarius uh, for the week of the 12th through to the 18th of July, 2021. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. The star, the three of wands, the ace of cups. Okay, so we're starting this week with hopes, dreams and wishes having to put out there what it is to the what it is that you want to the universe and making sure that the universe knows exactly what you want um, rather than what you don't want because sometimes we always moan about what we don't want we always do that and sometimes we need to kind of say okay I'm going to focus only on you know where I want my life to go where I can see everything heading heading off so there's going to be a lot of that, OK, connections to do with your um, your your wishes and dreams. OK, and that says that you're really the three of wands to me is a celebration of um, achievement, a celebration of I've done it. Look at this. Look at how far I've come. You know, I've got through this and I've done that and I'm really proud of myself. And we do not do this enough. We do not give our inner child that encouragement that it needs. Um, but this is going to be one of those times that you are going to be doing that. And um, you can feel that kind of fizzy feeling inside that says, I am very lucky um, that this has, um, you know, turned out so well. OK, um, so it's obviously something that you've tried. It's linked with your ambition. It's linked with your career. It's linked with your kind of determination so it's any one of those it could be to do with study okay as well but it's well done it's the well done card personal feelings well done you then got the ace of cups which means that you're looking for recognition and reward from people that love you okay you're feeling a little bit drained so a lot of things a lot of your energy is going out to other people when sometimes you need somebody to say do you know what um i really do appreciate you do you know what? I love you. You know, you know, when it's kind of those kind of energies. OK, so um, so the three cards together. Um, there is a feeling of celebration, of achievement. You're putting in your wishes for your future. It's like, well, I've already got that I've done well with that. Um, but I want to take this to the next level. OK, and I'm hoping I'm going to get um, back up from the people that love me and care for me. OK, so. Um, that's the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, you've got the ace, eight of wands, the three of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So this is my um, moving card. It's like I'm going for it. I'm rushing ahead. There's nothing going to stop me. Um, I'm doing it. 
okay so it's real sheer kind of focus energy okay and this is on anything that you are determined to achieve um the goals that you've set the you know any boundaries that have been put up um by yourself or by other people it's like i'm going over those boundaries um i'm blinkered visioned do you sort of mean i know what i'm doing okay now it's turning up with the home card this could be links with home, links with building of a business, okay, because I see the ladder and it's like it's half finished, okay, so there's obviously a project that is kind of, you know, that you are working up towards, okay, and this card always says to me self-employment or um, being your own boss in some way, okay, so um, with three cards together, that's where I see is like there is no nothing stopping you. Everything is going really well. This can be linked with DIY changes moving in the home or the building of a business. And this indicates, you know, that you're doing it. Um, and, you you know, the, the work that you're doing, it will benefit you and your pocket. It will benefit you in the long run. So all of that hard work will pay off. Okay. So by the end of um, next week, this is drawing up towards the 18th of July, um, 2021 for um, Aries, um, you've got the temperance card. And the temperance is all about trying to keep everybody happy, trying to make sure everyone's all right. But sometimes we forget about ourselves and we drain our own energies and resources. It's linking up with the high priestess, which means that you do know better. You do know that you're supposed to be um, looking after yourself, making sure that that you are, um, you know, balanced as well. OK, your energies are balanced of work, rest and play. OK, so having downtime and the most sarcastic card in the deck means deal with it. OK, so this is about. Um, balancing out your time and energy and making sure that you're not being taken for granted or that you never allowed somebody to keep taking you for granted because sometimes it's our choice uh, that we tend to do it okay so it's about kind of reeling in um, and rethinking time scales and what you've promised to do and what you can or can't do so it's all to do with kind of that balanced energy Okay, so that's what I see for Sagittarius, lovely people. Okay, so we're going on to Leo. And I know that Sharon, Sharon Poe is a Leo, um, that Greg's daughter, um, Brittany, is a Leo. So um, this is for, for you, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. Um, okay, let's just catch up on what's being said. Oh, Nanite Vera, you take care, lovely. Okay, I want every human not to have to worry about survival on their home planet. That's true, yes, so do I, Devon, definitely. So Deb is a Leo moon, okay, so Leo moon there. All right, so I'm going to switch on to the light seers tarot this is what a lot of beautiful card at the bottom here that's the sun card isn't that just superb just is so pretty and um, these cards okay so leo's this is for leo's let's have a conscious um thought on leo's so this will be 12th to the to the 18th of July. Yeah. Okay, so it starts off with having a bit of a spend up, um, Leo's. Okay, so it's probably spending more than you would normally. It's kind of saying, do you know what? I'm not going to be sensible this week. I just don't feel like being sensible. I feel like having a bit of a you know, buying that thing that I've wanted, you know, it's like I'll I'll just wing it this this week or this month. I'm just going to wing it and I'm going to, you know, 
just go go for it so um it is all to do with that it's about trust as well and i love this card um because it really does look exactly like that trust it's like she's leaning back do you see what i mean and she's she's just falling into this kind of energy here and it's like the flower of life she's got crystal in her hand and she's just leaning back going uh, the universe will catch my fall you know sometimes we have to believe that there's a bigger plan out there and that um, sometimes it's like, you know, if it is meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, see what happens. Um, now the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords looks a bit of a dark card, but it's not really. It's basically saying that sometimes we feel our hands are tied. We feel as if we've got no choices. We feel as if we're kind of tied up in knots um, about a certain situation. But if you have a look, she's not really um that's just what she thinks she is okay or he is so sometimes we have to actually look at our circumstances in a different way in a different angle in a more positive way okay so that's how your week's gonna start leos we've then got the chariot okay look at the chariot uh that's kind of weighing things up in the black and the white okay so the black and white horses indicate Kind of the light and the darkness and um, it's all to do with kind of decisions and weighing up um things um and sometimes it's like temptation tries to pull us into a direction that we um perhaps don't want to go or don't think we should be going okay but sometimes we get the temptation um so that it, the universe says are you sure you want that or you know is that really the case you know so um, I see this as a really vibrant person here who is ready to um, take on a challenge, is good at manifesting, and is basically saying, you know, I'm so ready for a new adventure. I'm so ready for some fun. You know, where's the party at? Um, you know, where's all those good vibed people? Because I want to hang out with them. And look at this card as well. You know, the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is saying new beginnings, new um, projects, new, you know, um, new things that you want to organise. OK, new events. Um, so that is is all to do with excitement and new changes. OK, and it's all to do with kind of your determination and your challenges. So that is what's going on the middle of the week. By the end of the week for leos you've got the moon card and sometimes we have to kind of you know it's like we have to be in certain situations sometimes so that we we know um what is good and what isn't okay sometimes we have to kind of you know look at the good look at the bad look at the the other the other issues you know going on um, and sometimes we have to learn that we need to protect ourselves um, we need to kind of nurture ourselves and we need to see um, that changes aren't always bad changes. That sometimes um, we need change in order for our, um, our own sanity, you know, because otherwise things stay the st same and they stay stagnant. OK, so definitely there is a lot of movement around you um, and that could be because you have made some very instant very trusting decisions and sometimes those decisions mean that we've got to um, shake our life up quite quickly um, after being in kind of like a slumber or you know being you know too laid back um, and not in a hurry about anything and then all of a sudden it's like right now is the time um, here we go go for it okay and um, I'm seeing a little bit of kind of chaos um, organization skills need to happen uh, because you've run out of time because you've thrown yourself into um, this project and you, or you've said yes to something and it's like okay I've committed now um, but this is actually causing lots of um, it's lots of stress but it's lots of excitement at the same time okay so there you go that's what I see for Leo's okay so we've done all the air sign uh, sorry air signs and the fire signs so the next one is let's go with 
actually we did I think we've done the um, water signs last for the last few weeks so we're going to do the water signs now okay so Scorpios 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 actually do you mind if I just make myself a quick drink guys just going to make myself a quick quick drink I've just got to um, fill my my little kettle thing up so who's still awake at the moment who's awake and with us what are you guys going to be doing Maybe tomorrow. What is tomorrow? It's Monday tomorrow. What's Monday looking like with you guys? I'll tell you something that I wanted to I wanted to share with you, which I thought is very interesting and very exciting. Right, sorry, I'm just going to drink my water. Okay. Out. I don't like cold drinks, I can't, not cold drinks, I don't like cold tea, especially not cold um, horlicks or anything. I don't like that, so I have to keep making myself hot drinks. I'm going to share with you something I think you guys might find intriguing. You might already know about it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. It was on my hand, first of all. That's what I was writing down on my hand. <laughs> and I thought, um, I'm going to write that down on an actual piece of paper um, so I can share it with you guys. I know, Elaine, it is, isn't it? It's there. She can see this kind of energy here. It's always here. And there is no, there's no fan. There's, there's no, um, there's nothing else. There's no joystick. There's no candle. There's nothing going on there, and yet it's always there. Yeah. So what's everybody doing? Here comes my my cat, my mo. So Sarah's still here. Hi, Sarah. Deb is still here. Jody is still here. Oh my God, Mo's soaking wet again. He always comes in for a towel dry. And then he goes out again, gets wet again, comes back in. What are we going to do with you, Momo? I'm stuck. I've only got a sock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He, he likes going out in the rain. Very odd cat. Very, very odd. I know you're after sweeties, aren't you? I don't know where the sweeties are gone. Where are sweeties going? I don't know where I put them, Papa. Do it from here. So, as all cats, these are what <laughs> he likes, the dreamies. So, um, okay, so Jodie says, hoping to sit on Siesta Key Beach, weather permitting. How lovely is that? 
So hi Elaine, um, Linda in England, I remember everyone drank fizzy water and tea. <laughs> yeah, so Sarah's preparing material for my new yoga class and checking in with Greg, oh yeah. So Devon, my little sister in Scorpio, she really puts the sis in nemesis, <laughs> does she? Um, we got Phyllis, hello there, Phyllis. Uh, Trisha, I'm still here. Uh, Pippa has not come home yet. She never stays out. Oh, is that one of your cats? Um, Linda, are you serious? I thought that was a light. No, it's not a light. No, it's definitely an energy and it's always there. Bizarre. It is. Or is it? <laughs> is it just energy? So anyway, that thing that I wanted to talk about. Did you know, and this is fact, and Facebook cannot do anything about this, um, 1,000 lawyers and over 10,000 medical professional, professionals are suing the CDC and the WHO. And this is by um, Rainer Fulnick. Okay, and he actually has had successful... Um, you know, um, court cases against, I think it's Volkswagen and Deutsche Bank. So, you know, he's used to winning uh, with these big corporations. Um, so 1,000 lawyers and 10,000 medical professionals are suing the CDC and the WHO. And it is for um, fraudulent death certificates that are labelled falsely. Um, 13,000 um, have been um, classed as COVID when actually they are not. Um, and they literally get so much money for, um, they get so much money for an, a, co a COVID, more money for a COVID death than, it, than the others. Um, the, um, they're going back into all 10 of the Nuremberg codes have been um, basically um, violated. Okay, they violated ten Nuremberg codes. Okay, with what's going on at the moment with um, with the um, pandemic. So there you go. It's all happening, um, and there will be Nuremberg trials going on. So it's quite an exciting time to be. You know, what's happening around us now is will be in the history books. It will be. Um, and people sometimes are totally unaware of what is actually going on. It's like, there's a war going on? What do you mean? There's no bombs? There's no, it's like, no, this war, well, there is, but um, this war is under the surface of, um, of, you know, literally under the surface, but it's also um, undercover deep state stuff. So it's a very exciting time. I can't wait, okay, because they deserve everything they get um, because of, um, you know, the amount of people that have had to pass away alone and, um, you know, without their loved ones around them. Anyway, I've got off my soapbox. <laughs> so, yeah. So what we got? So Devon says, my cat hates the rain and loudly meows me to go to the door and continues to meow at me like I can stop the rain. <laughs> oh, bless him. Um, Trish said he's great. Um, yes, says Deb. Uh, Trish said he, uh, he's been preparing for this class action lawsuit for months. Yep, it is literally, it's, it's happening here in the UK. It is really happening. Um, more will follow, that's true. Wow, we are going to um, be in short supply of medical professions and politicians. Yeah, yep. So Linda says, I pray there is a movement because I read that the CDC is requiring kindergarten to wear masks. If they are not vaccinated, I am so mad about it. Yes, people are literally moving. They're flocking to Florida, aren't they? Because of... Uh, Florida, they're, they're not playing the game, you know, they're, um, and it is a game, then they're not playing. 
So, yeah. But they are no longer, Facebook can no longer ban anyone who has put on their page that the uh, virus, um, when they put the virus was man-made, they um, were banning people on Facebook. Well, they're not able to do that anymore um, because it's actually out there now. So, mm. I pray this, there is a movement because I read, oh yeah, I've just read that, haven't I, Linda? Well, let's hope that, you know, this all starts to happen all over the place because uh, people just need to wake up and just stop wearing masks. Stop it. Just, just everybody just stop. Just stop. That, that's what needs to happen, um, you know, and say no. They don't work anyway. Um, Dr. Fauci, um, you know, he'd, he'd actually put in his emails um, that, you know, don't work. And you've got Matt Hancock snogging the face off somebody, you know, it's like, well, there's, he knows that there's no restrictions um, towards it. So it's, yeah, I think it's coming to its end now. I really do. Yes, I just got back from Florida and housing is crazy. So Greg will be um, renting, you know, his, his place will be up for rent. There's a swimming pool outside. It's a two bedroom, very large um, flat. I, I think you call them condo, condo, condos. Um, so his place is, is going to be up for rent. Okay, so you can contact Greg if you want to move to Florida, anybody. Um, two bedroom with a swimming pool, a communal pool outside, literally feet away um, from where Greg, um, you know, where, where his flat is. Okay, so we're going to carry on with Scorpio. Okay, so let me concentrate on Scorpio energy. Here we go. Okay, so Scorpio is my my daughter, and this is Rhiannon. Um, she is um, a Scorpio, bless her. Okay, so the beginning of the week for Scorpios. I'm seeing it's like having to having two jobs, two projects, weighing up the pros and the cons, and having to prioritize that's going to be the story of your life at that particular time which is next week but the wheel means that everything is moving forward everything is going forward it's like um the cogs uh, one wheel is turning which then turns another wheel which then turns another wheel and turns another wheel and this is what's going to be happening okay in your life so um, something to do with some training courses or some learning, something you're going to learn will literally be the, the key that opens the door to this next project or to this next, um, you know, important time. Just I mean, it, it's like, um, you know, it, it, it's like, why didn't I do this before? You know, and now I'm doing this, everything is going to fall into place. Everything is going to be exactly just so. So there's a lot of kind of excitement, I feel, around the beginning of next week for Scorpios. Um, sometimes if things are put on hold in our life so that we rethink things, so that we find out whether or not we truly, truly do want what it is that we're craving. It's like, are you sure? you know, sure you don't want this, you know, what is it that you do want? So there's a lot of kind of um, making, um, dissecting the wishes that you've got in place. Um, and it's to do with, you know, learning new skills. Okay, so learning new skills and, you know, being very focused, okay, about, um, you know what you're doing. I love this card in the Light Seers Tarot. Look at what he's doing here. Okay, so you can see here these these represent to me 
all of the things that you've learned in the past, all the skills that you have, you know, things that you're just good at. Don't know why I'm good at it, but I'm just good at it. OK, and all of that you've then planted in one plant and look at him. He's nurturing this. So this is going to grow into a big tree which will then bear fruit. OK, so it's like nothing is for nothing. OK, so sometimes it's like we feel as if it's an insignificant reason why we've learned this sort of thing. Um, but later on, it really does um, make perfect sense. There's going to be a lot of reminiscing um, in the middle of um, July, a lot of reminiscing. Um, so, you know, when it's like you're looking back and saying, oh, do you remember when this, you know, this dog was this small? Do you remember when this guy was a little boy? Do you remember when? Just, I mean, so it's all to do with kind of looking back and memories. Um, so it's going to be a lot of kind of, um, you know, chatting away with people, familiar people people that you care about, people that care about you. OK, so a lot of kind of um, very laid back and and happy chat. And um, also you've got to me the three of wands is all about kind of going on that. Um, you're a bit nervous about this task or this um, this test or, you know, this next project that you're going to do. You're very nervous about it and you're thinking, Oh God, am I doing the right thing? You know, have I ticked all the boxes? Have I prepared enough? You know, will I be laughed at? You know, uh, it's all to do with kind of like that nervous feeling just before you're about to plunge into something um, that it's like um, it's like new, or it's a it's really testing you. Okay, you're testing your own boundaries and you're testing. Um, you know, the fact that, you you know, will I do this or won't I? OK. I love this card as well. So we've got the, the, the solidarity of females or the solidarity of friendship. OK, so this can act um, in a masculine way as well. So it's all to do with friends, friends getting together, friends kind of um, understanding each other and accepting the differences of each other. OK, so that is going to be a very uh, prominent side of things. There is a romantic gesture or a kind gesture coming your way uh, by the end of the week, Scorpios. Somebody who is going to be either saying thank you so much for um, all the effort that you've put in or thank you for, you know, um, everything that you're doing. So it's it's a lovely kind of um you know, when the Ace of Cups is that you want this, that you want somebody to, um, you know, to appreciate you. Well, that is the appreciation card. So that's exactly getting what it is that you want. I love this card as well. She's got a pot of gold at her feet there. OK, she's got a pot of gold. And she's leaping off and all the cups are upright and they all have little gifts in. OK, so this is to do with gratitude, I believe, being grateful for the small things and the big things in your life um, and knowing that if you can carry on with your vibrational energy in a gratitude uh, way, then everything starts to come to you. All of the kind of um, it's like your vibration is high um, and it's like you'll get a kind gesture here. Um, you know, good good things will happen with this. So all of this kind of comes in, okay? Um, and it's all to do with kind of the mood that you're in. Um, so high vibrational energy definitely around you, Scorpios, next week. Okay, so Pisces now. Let's do Pisces. Let's have a look and see. That's really bizarre because on, on this thread, I can see people talking. So Deb says, got to go now. Love and blessings. Good night, Deb, or goodbye, Deb. Uh, so we've got Gracie. Hello, Gracie. But on my, I've got it on my Facebook, on my phone, 
and I've got it on my tablet here. And the comments there, but they're not on here. Bizarre. That's, uh, that's just crazy. Okay. All right, so Pisces. This, so this is me, this is my birth sign. Um, Pisces, I've got Scorpio, Moon, and I've got Libra rising. So this is um, for myself and for my mum. Hello, mum. She is Pisces too. Okay. Pisces. Okay, so to me, this is a very confident person um, here around you, or it could be how you're feeling. It could be that you're feeling very confident, very vibrant, um, that you're enjoying, um, you know, what it is that you're doing. You're enjoying taking on a quest or doing something that you feel is a little bit kind of pushing on your boundaries, um, but you know that it's the right thing to do. Okay, because look at this, this says the right thing to do, definitely, because it's like, um, you know, she's got a crystal in her hand, she's leaning back, um, going into the flower of life, and she's basically saying to the universe, do you know what, I trust you, um, bring on whatever I'm meant to, meant to happen, you know, I'm going to put all my trust in you, um, and what will be, will be, okay, so especially with this card, you know, the, the high vibrational energy of these two, you know, start to work with crystals maybe, because crystals are bringing about a lovely energy too. Okay, so it's the beginning of next week um, for Pisces. So by the middle of next week, you've got the chariot, um, and the chariot is saying, you know, stay focused, stay blinkered, Try not to be distracted by other people or by other drama um, and things that are not in your best interest. Uh, so try and stay as focused as you possibly can. Um, the Ace of Cups is all about kind of that, that feeling of need to be loved, cherished and adored, um, need to be appreciated. Um, so there's a little bit of kind of draining energy um, around you. And it's like you're waiting for other people to recognize that you are doing your absolute best. Um, you're waiting for the thanks at this point. Um, so realize that your hands aren't really tied, that there are other ways to get around a situation that you find yourself in. Um, so this clearly is saying, you know, find a solution to a problem. Um, and this solution will be um, really clearly shown to you. Sometimes it, we have to look out for the signs. We have to kind of find them um, and the universe will then lead you to the way. Maybe that's what the black and white horses are. OK, maybe that's what it is. So maybe sometimes you've got to kind of, um, especially if you go with the, the full card, it's like sometimes we need to trust that the universe will show us um, and as we're racing ahead into our future and into our life, it's like sometimes it's like, OK, we need to go in this direction um, because that feels the right way forward. OK, so by the end of next week, you've got the magician, you've got the two of cups and you've got the five of cups. So um, magician card is all about um, the unit, it's about your spirit guides and your helpers actually knowing what, um, what you need and what is going on and fetching exactly what it is that you need. Okay, because it's about kind of your spirit guides, your loved ones, your helpers. Um, so maybe that's who's kind of steering your horses going into the right um, direction. Look out for little opportunities. Okay. Um, so you've also got the two of cups. So for some of you, this could be meeting somebody new um, linked to your love life. Um, it could be a friend. 
a friendship, um, but it's a very, very strong, powerful card or combination of cards, those two. OK, so they're saying try not to get stuck on the fact that maybe a relationship or a friendship didn't last last time. And this is what you know, why do I bother getting my hopes up? Because this has happened before. Um, so remember, the more that you concentrate on that, the more that you're going to have more of the same. So do you want more of the same or do you want the universe to show you um, that sometimes in life, um, you know, you, you finally the timing is right and, you know, you can put all of your dreams and wishes into um, this new opportunity, OK, to do with love or companionship, um, you know, family, family get togethers, that sort of thing, you know. It's like trusting that everything is going to go right, trusting that all of it is kind of locking into place like jigsaw pieces. OK, so that was for Pisces. So now we're going to do Cancerians. OK, quick drink. So who else is out there in the in the uh, chat at the moment. Oh, Linda, here's Linda and Devon. Oh, that's Devon. Yeah. So we've all got that kind of, um, that border, that circle border saying that we trust our immune system <laughs> so we've all got that at the moment haven't we um because it's kind of making a very good statement isn't it elaine's still here hello elaine so <laughs> hmm. and trisha's still here listening look at that have you got any numerology for us trisha about this week what's going on this week I can't believe that. It's bizarre um, how that happens. OK, and Jodie's still here. OK, hi, Jodie. Right. So this is for Cancerians and Cancer. Um, this is my other daughter, my um, my birthday girl. Um, she's 30 tomorrow or today, I should say, 3.09 a.m. here. So it's today. So this is for um, Megan, and that's who I bought the um, the rude colouring book. Um, I bought that. I put that on my profile, but I know my ex might try to use anything to have to do. Yes, I know, Linda. It's not it's not good having to look over your shoulder the whole time. Okay, let's concentrate. So uh, we're doing Cancerians, the 12th to the 18th of. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Right, so next week for Cancerians, okay, 12th through to the 18th of July, 2021. Um, we've got a little bit of a feeling of, um, don't let things get you down, um, really. Because it's all a little bit like ugh, blur, you know, that blur feeling um, where you're kind of, you know, you don't know whether or not, um, you know, this is going to work out or you don't know if, you know, that will be kind of, um, you know, fitting right with your plans or not. Um, I'll show you the card so you can see what I'm picking up here. You know, she's casually kind of, you know, um, dip you know, tipping the bowl up and kind of seeing what happens to it. She's feeling a little bit kind of uh, restless. OK, so a lot of people are feeling like that at the moment because it's like I want something exciting to happen. Um, but 
sometimes that's very difficult when we see what's going on. And um, there are people out there who are still watching the mainstream media. Um, so if they're kind of looking out for the mainstream media, um, then that can bring you down as well. So the quickest way to make yourself feel better is to you see that off button. It's like press that off. OK, and immediately you'll start to feel a bit better as well. OK, so you've got the Empress and the Empress is about kind of um, nurturing. It's about um, things coming to fruition, um, things being, you know, that have been kind of held, held back um, are now kind of ripe, ripe for the taking. OK, and you've got the world card. So this one card doesn't really add up. Do you sort of mean feeling as so I suppose it could be that this is how you're feeling emotionally, but everything else is going well. OK, and that could be to do with work or finances. Um, so things are going well in that area, but maybe to do with kind of love life and emotions, it's not so much. OK. So that's the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, it's all about juggling those finances and making those finances pay for you. Um, and it's about sometimes we have to kind of, um, you know, do a little bit more um, being careful, OK, with, um, you know, the future, OK, on, on money wise or job wise. Um, we're having to kind of tippy toe around a situation, OK, um, not knowing what is going to be, um, you know, happening. So it could be that at work, uh, if, the, if you're working, it could be that there's bosses talking or whispering and it's like you're wondering what they're whispering about or what's going on. You know, you're not feeling as secure as you would normally do, uh, but you're trying to keep the peace and you're trying to be kind of weighing things up and being very uh, diplomatic. OK, so there's a little bit of that. I will say that that situation won't last very long. Um, before the celebration energy is around you and it's a feeling of smiling sweetly and being very um, excited about the, the future. So the, the little unsurety is there, but not for long. OK, because look, we're starting off with the with the world card as well, which means that things are turning out better than you thought. OK, and this is to do with um, anything that is nurtured. OK, so if you're nurturing a new business or a good opportunity, um, then that is what I, I see. Um, it is all going to be working out. So by the, and then we went to the middle, which was, you know, you have to kind of weigh things up. The temperance is needed. There seems to be a little bit, you know, when you're not trusting the people around you um, to do the right thing or to, um, you know, put your needs above uh, their own kind of greed or their own situation. Um, but, you know, like I said, we have the, the celebration card, you know, it's like, yes, we did it. Yes, we got through that. Or, you know, we found out the truth and we're all good. OK, so by the end of the week, eight is all go, go, go. Um, and the eight of ones, it's like there is no obstacles. There is nothing stopping you. Everything is going in the right direction. All you have to do is focus and focus and focus um, and it will all happen. OK, so, you know, that's my go, go, go card. You can see it's like brilliant. Everything is moving on very nicely. Now, this lovely card. Um, so this is where, you know, you know, we had the gamble card uh, where there was lots of seeds and there was one shoot um, that was coming out of this of the soil. And, and this person was nurturing that. Well, imagine that that has then born seeds. And all of these seeds are now going to make lots of those little plants. OK, and you have really worked hard with it. But once you've done all the hard work, you then have to kind of walk away and say, well, um, I've worked hard and now I need a pint down the pub or now I need, um, you know, to have some some downtime uh, to go home and watch a movie or, you know, to do something that you, you know, that you really want to do because all the hard work has been done. Okay, so, um, so yeah, that's what I see for Cancerians. 
Okay, so we've done the, uh, what did we start? We did the air signs, and then we've done the uh, fire signs. Now we've done the water signs. So now we're going to do the, um, what we're doing, earth signs now we're going to do. Okay, so we'll start off with Taurus. Um, So what's been, what's going on? So, so Tricia, I'm going to go live on Monday and do the weekly numerology. Oh, so yeah, follow Tricia um, on YouTube. Um, do you want to put your link up here, Tricia, um, to your YouTube channel? Okay, um, because um, if you watched last week, uh, there was me um, doing future, there was Gabby, there was uh, Vera, and there was Trisha. Trisha Gelder there, and she did, did numerology, and it was really interesting to see, you know, all the different components. So if you wanted to look back and see how your week has been going, um, look back and have a look um, at that. It's really interesting. So it's a very, it's like a marathon lot of readings. Um, but it's really um, interesting. So um, have a look at Tri Trisha's and mine and all of us predictions. Okay, so Trisha's going to be doing some more predictions on her YouTube channel because um, it's all to do with the numbers and what's happening um, next week. Um, so Devon said I got tired of the Facebook ad asking me to apply for the other one. Okay, me too, told them to do one politely. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it on Facebook, Ali. I used to do it on YouTube. Oh, right, so you're doing it on Facebook. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, you can follow Trisha on Facebook. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, quick drink. Right, so going back to my cosmic deck by Norbert Loesch. These are the ones that I highly recommend um, if you're learning the tarot. There's lots of tarot videos, free videos on my YouTube if you wanted to go and have a look at those. So tired. Good night, everyone. Good night, Patrice. I'll let you know how the raffle goes. We we're we haven't got halfway yet, so um, it's a little way to go before the raffle is pulled. We always have to wait until it's filled up a bit more. Okay. My jewellery is beautiful. What, what This one or the ones that I make. Um, I love my making of the jewellery. It's great. Okay. So. So the 12th through to the 18th, okay? And this is for Taurus energies, Taurus. Lovely, okay. The beginning of the week for Taurus, it's about, um, you know, when you feel a little bit kind of out of sync, okay with people um, surrounding you and it's a real challenge to keep your spirits high in a high vibration when you've got everybody else who has got the low energy um, who are worried and scared or angry or you know annoyed at you for not believing them and you're annoyed at them for not believing you and everything is kind of going a little bit kind of um you know, out of sync with, with everybody. You're walking on eggshells. You're trying um, not to fall out with them, but at the same time, it's very difficult not to. So there's lots going on around you, okay, um, at this beginning of the week. And it's like, what can you do? You know, how can you um, continue? So a lot of people are questioning um, friendships, 
um, are thinking about family members who just really clearly do not want to open their eyes and see anything. Um, and, um, you know, it's uh, it's all very, very tricky at the moment. So I can definitely feel the energy um, of what's happening um, at the beginning of the week for Taurus. There is going to be reuniting with somebody from your past or somebody who is familiar to you will be definitely in touch with you um, the middle of next week, Taurus. Um, I am seeing there being a bit of a block, uh, somebody who is held back. You're holding yourself back or the situation is being held back. OK, and um, it could be that, that you want to be connected with this person, but there's somebody or something that is stopping you um, from truly connecting. Um, so sometimes this can lead to frustration or anger or annoyance. OK, um, there's also a, a, a feeling of being annoyed. Or being cross, OK, with um, a person or a situation, okay? Um, and it's, it's all to do with kind of links to the past, um, you know, past, either past life connections or connections regarding, you know, a person that you have um, maybe kind of either fallen out with or, you know, you're trying not to fall out with um, because it's all about kind of, you know, when your paths are together, and then you go your way, they go their way, and you end up meeting back in the middle. So this can be the same person that you're connected with, but you've just drifted, or it can be, um, you know, it can be um, just somebody who you haven't seen for ages, does that make sense, and they come back. Okay, so this is the end now of... Um, next week okay for Taurus um so this is my Taurian card believe it or not because it's got the bull in the background up there okay there's the bull okay so um they are hard working they are steady they're reliable you know where you are with them if they promise something they fulfill that usually that's what a Taurus um energy really clearly is um, but these Taurians at this time, it's like to do with your hard work and all of your commitments that you promised to do, you're feeling very much drained and tired. And your psychic ability is being kind of, um, you know, when somebody is kind of, um, it's like a balloon that feels as if it's very vibrant one minute, but it's let down the next. So I do feel that you are having to um, keep your energies as high as possible, but you're having to try harder than normal, okay, because it seems it's all to do with the people that are around you, I'm afraid, um, because it is a very difficult time. Everybody's kind of finding this difficult. So, you know, um, is there somebody who does have the same beliefs as you and who can hang out with you and give you um, some energy back? OK, because that's definitely what you guys are needing, Taurus uh, people. OK, it's like uh, you're being zapped um, by negative people or people that are kind of um, very blinkered in their vision. You're blinkered in yours and nobody can see eye to eye on anything. OK, so. We've now got Virgos. OK, so let's have a look at Virgos. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Tricia. I do love teaching. So if anybody would like to learn to read the tarot, um, let me know. We've just done the professional. Um, we've done the professional class uh, today workshop. And, um, you know, so it's all to do with kind of how you look um, out there. You know, in, if you're kind of doing a psychic fair and um, what um, you what you look like does that make sense and and how you need to portray yourself around other people okay looking professional okay so and we did connectives cards so this is virgos 
12th through to the 18th of July. Right, okay. The beginning of the week, it's all about, um, you know, and sometimes we have to be selfish. Sometimes we have to say, do you know what? This is my turn. This is what I need. This is what I want. Um, and I'm hearing somebody saying this. So this could be you saying it, or it could be someone else saying it. Either way, I feel that it should be you saying it. So if you are, then well done. If it is someone else saying this, and it's like, you know, when it's like you're that's making you laugh because it's like, you know, this is what this is what I should be saying. Um, there's a feeling of, you know, so this is this is going on with the earthly energies because this is the second reading that I've got. I want to turn the rest of the cards over because the beginning of the week is going to be another one of those uh, feeling drained, feeling tired, feeling as if someone's kind of stealing your energy. Um, so just be aware that you need to shield up a little bit more. OK, um, Earth, Earth signs, maybe all of us, you know, um, visualize yourself in the middle of a crystal ball. It doesn't have to be black. OK. Um, you could put this as clear, you could put this as rose quartz. So visualize yourself in the middle and visualize this kind of force field going on around you. And then if you want to, if you know people are kind of uh, sending stuff out to you, you can put mirrors facing outwards all the way around your force field. And what this does, if anybody's sending anything to you, it's going straight back at them. OK, either that if you can, you can write their name in the free uh, and put it in the freezer uh, on a tiniest bit of paper, screw it up into a little ball and then put it in the back of the freezer. Do it with love, though. All, everything has to be done with love. Um, never hate and never anger. Um, it's just not worth it. Um, so um, there is a feeling of your psychic ability and the feeling of drain. So I'll show you um, the cards that says this, so I'm feeling drained. This is psychic ability. And this is, um, I want it and I want it now. Okay, so it could be that you're having this talk with your spirit guides and saying, now, come on, um, you've got to protect me a bit more. You know, we need to get this sorted out. We need, I need to know that you've got my back and, you know, we're going to get through this. There's a little bit of spiciness going on around the middle of um, next week for you Taurians um, because we've got the love lust cards this could be love if it's not lust for you it would be nice um, energy with family units um, with friendships with work colleagues there's a lot of kind of celebration energy now it's very different from the beginning of the week so you can see how things have started to change and move forward um, in a good way um, so it doesn't start off as very vibrant, but the middle of the week is more vibrant. You're still walking on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation. Uh, so beware of people um, that can be draining, that can tap into your vulnerability and kind of make you feel as if, you know, um, it's like, OK, have you ever been around somebody who they know that you get a bit tongue tied and they tend to kind of um, make fun of you or make you feel awkward, which makes you worse? This I mean, or if they know that you're clumsy, they'll kind of point it out and make it worse. So there's something about people sometimes negative people draw off your own insecurities or your own doubt in yourself, okay? So just be aware that this is going on, okay? But I do think that by the middle of um, the week, you're feeling so much more uh, vibrant, better and energized and your frequency is a lot higher, okay, than the beginning. Okay, so um, I like to be wrong on these um, and this is to do with the beginning of the week. So I wanna see that you've actually uh, taps into your energy 
and that you're not going to be feeling drained and tired and you're going to start the week out vibrant and protected and kick ass rather than feeling as if somebody's kind of zapping you okay so let's switch that around shall we um, and see um, if things have changed so I'm going to do an experiment now so these were the cards that we got okay um, these are the cards that we got what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them back in the pack. OK. There we go. And we're going to give it a good shuffle. OK. And we're going to think about the beginning of the week and see if we've not changed that timeline uh, to a more positive one. OK. So for Taurus, this is the beginning of uh, next week. There we go. <laughs> see what I mean? what can i say sunshine happiness brightness one of the best cards in the deck emotionally you're having to deal with some stuff emotionally but you know sometimes we have to make different choices and different decisions and this is linked with a perfectionist energy somebody who likes to be right all the time but look at those just what i mean cards um they're a lot different to the cards that we had for Taurus. Okay, so this is definitely that you are in a very much um, new state of mind um, here with the sunshine. Okay, so by the end of next week for Taurus, um, we've got the star, which is to do with wishes and dreams. Um, look at this kind of like I'm catapulting myself to the future. I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing, I'm very focused. OK, so to do with ambitions, look out for and starting of new ambitions, new dreams um, that could be new um, job situations. OK, and then you've got the celebration card, the achievement. I've done it. Yay. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be feeling very, very pleased with yourself. So, yeah, we change the vibrational energy of that because you don't want to start the week feeling vulnerable. You're just not going to put up with it. So there we go. So well done. OK, so Capricorns. This is the last of the astrology readings, everybody. Um, hello, Dawn. Oh, we got some more. That's lovely. So we've got another spammer, I think. Okay, so Don, we're going to block you, love. What we don't want is people who delete comments. They've been sent to me by the gods. I know. Um, that's a new one, isn't it? Usually it's like, um, I've got to come to me for a um, come to me for a psychic reading, an accurate psychic reading. Usually they say that. Yeah. So I've just deleted them um, off. So sorry about that. It, it is spam. We get spam. We've actually got trolls now, um, you know, um, but with our good energy, trolls don't come through very often because they can't. Um, the energy is too high a frequency, so we're going to send it straight back um, to them with love. <laughs> OK, so Capricorns, let's have a look, Capricorns. Here we go. Have a look. OK, we're starting off with breaking free. Breaking free from restrictions either set by yourself or by someone else. We've got the judgment card and it's like all these shackles are off. This is like chains just um, falling away, okay? And you're emerging brighter, bigger, stronger, more attuned, okay, with um, your pathway. Ace of Wands, beginning of new ambition, um, powerful kind of card um, there. 
and you have the king of pentacles so this basically indicates that it's off your own back it's something that you are doing for yourself okay so this could be so it's not about working um for an employer this is all about kind of you know stuff that you're doing for you um as an achiever okay so this card just indicates that you've got lots of choices so you know when sometimes you feel a bit tormented because this person needs you and wants you this person does that situation needs looked at so it's all about kind of i don't know what to do next you know i don't want to upset anybody but at the same time i deserve this do you see what I mean? so it's all about kind of the dilemma um over pleasing others okay going to be very very strong around you Capricorns um it is a perfection energy so um sometimes we have to do the best that we possibly can um at any precise time and that is going to be one of the conversations that you're going to have with somebody um is you know well I'm trying my best I don't know what you expect of me okay but in the meantime you've then got this which says I am focused, I am ready, I'm ready for that next level, I'm ready to take my energy further, or my project further, or, you know, my business further, so it's about um, pushing yourself um, more out there, it's like, um, imagine that you put an advert either in the paper or something, and you're looking at that advert, and you're seeing it spread out, does that make sense, like a tree, ready to um, have um, divine fruit, basically, that you can then, um, you know, eat some, plant some more, eat some, plant some more. Does that make sense? So it's all to do with kind of the building of your business or building of your, um, your projects that you're doing, okay? So to do, to do with this, you've got the three of wands, which is a celebration of achievement. You're very, very pleased with yourself, feeling very sure of yourself. Um, you've got the um, wishes, dreams, hopes. Okay, so you've got that. It's all to do with kind of, you know, it's like I can't believe that this has happened. This is amazing. You know, um, my wishes are all falling into place and everything is going to be um, lots of smiles and happiness. Um, you do have a bit of a spend up coming your way. So there is something that you're going to be spending make sure that you're not being overcharged for things um, at the end of the week um, so it could be that you know you could have got it cheaper elsewhere um, but that's what they call convenience isn't it sometimes we go into convenient stuff and that is the reason why um, you know it's called convenience but um, we've got the celebration card we've got the achievement um, so you're very pleased with yourself okay so there you go. That is the readings for this week. Um, I'm glad I was able to fit them in. Um, so I've been working since three o'clock today, uh, doing workshop and then all sorts of things have been happening. Um, so I'm ready for um, a rest, put my feet up and then get some sleep ready for my daughter's birthday tomorrow. So celebrations going on. Okay, Wonder Carol. So, did you want to do the raffle? Is that what you're saying? Let's see. Um, six, eight has gone. Nineteenth has gone. Twenty-two has gone. Thirty is available. And thirty-eight is available. So, Rhonda, let me know if you want me to put those down for you. Um, and there is, you just um, go to PayPal and it's guidingangels at btinternet.com um, for the raffle. Um, yeah, you've missed them all. I'm afraid, Tarika, I've done all of them, um, but you can get it on the replay um, and Greg will be uploading them he said um, sometime tomorrow. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so Rhonda, if you wanted, um, if that was the raffle that you was after, I can do number, I can do number six. I can do number 30 and number 38. So I can do three. Um, so it's a two dollars if you're outside the uh, USA or sorry, outside the UK um, or it is um, a pound ago if you're in the UK. So let me know if that's what you want me to do, Rhonda. Put you down for those three numbers. OK, so just quickly, the raffle is a black obsidian crystal ball. There's two main prizes that you can pick. So it picks either this one, black obsidian crystal ball, or the light sears tarot, which are just beautiful tarot. So the likes here is tarot, or it is these coasters. Okay, so it's a set of four coasters. Okay, so all those, or it is rune rune stones. Okay, there's those, or it's a rose quartz bracelet, rose quartz, or it's the good tarot, the good tarot. Um, is that all of them? Or oh, it's the plaque. OK, so these are the raffle prizes. Um, you can use this as a pendulum board. You can use it for your altar. You can use it just to you can put it on the wall. Um, yeah, there's lots of different things you could do that. But um, so there you go. Let me know, Rhonda, because I'm going to go off air in about three minutes. I'll wait around um, to see if that's what you want me to put on there. If not, if um, anybody who's watching this and it's not live and you wanted to go on the raffle, please inbox me um, on uh, Psychic Alley on face one to one on Facebook um, or on this Alison James page. You can um, message me there, okay? And I will add you to the raffle. OK. So I hope you all enjoyed that. It's been lovely catching up with you all. Sorry about teasing you with Greg or not. I'm not sorry. That was quite funny. He made it. That was funny about the raffle. It's like um, dental floss that he's used and um, <laughs> it's like that. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I've had no answer from Rhonda. Rhonda, if you wanted to do those raffles with those uh, three numbers, um, you can go to PayPal, guidingangels at btinternet.com. Um, let me put it in. Guiding angels. BT Internet dot com. So you can pay via there or you can pay via the website by Dick Alley. Net. There you go. Okay, so you can do any of those. Hi, Paige. Okay, thanks, Jodie. Okay, so I haven't heard from you, Rhonda. Um, I'll assume that um, you didn't want those numbers, um, but um, if you do, just let me know. Okay. I could do three of them, but not all of them. All right. Take care, everyone. Love and light to you all. And um, speak to you soon. Bye for now. Oh, tomorrow, Monday, is 
psychic class. So if anybody wants to join in with psychic development, you are welcome to join us. It's five pounds, which works out around seven dollars. Um, so you're welcome to come on board. Um, if you are interested in joining us, then you need to message me, inbox me, um, and I will send you the Zoom link. OK, so that's for Monday class. OK, and each week we try something different. We're now starting up a Tuesday evening practice readings class. So it's mainly for tarot, but you can obviously do um, practicing mediumship or rune readings or anything you want. OK, you can do that. Um, so that's on Tuesdays. This is a new one um, starting up at 7.30. Um, uh, that's UK time, PM UK time, which is 2.30 uh, uh, PM Eastern time, 11.30 AM Pacific time. So if you wanted to join in with that, you just let me know. Again, inbox me and I'll send you the link. OK, take care, everybody. Bye for now. It's okay, Elaine.